To see our work as a calling from the Lord to serve others is vocation. Brothers and sisters, the gospel is the good news of the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ to make a way for us to become sons and daughters in his family. And it's also the story of creation, fall, redemption, and consummation. We get the opportunity through our work to participate as actors in this kingdom, pointing to this new city that the Lord is preparing and he's going to bring down to earth, and that we get to participate through our work in this redemption work. And so the, the problem, brothers and sisters, is that we treated our work as an idol. We treat it as something that if we work hard enough and, and long enough and put enough energy into it, that it will fulfill the longings of our hearts, but it never does. Anxiety, worries, frustrations, they abound when we treat work as an idol. And, and the other end of the spectrum is we treat work as if it's not meaningful. It's something that we do in order to do other things. And brothers and sisters, this is not, the, this is not work as vocation. The good news of, of the gospel, though, is that the Lord has called us to participate in this kingdom renewal, to do that through our work, to see our workplaces as the place God's called us to be faithful ministers of the gospel, to do our work well, to, to set right the companies, the industries, the workplaces. The work that we do, we get the opportunity to set it right, to do it in a way that points to this coming city, uh, this, this place where the, uh, justice will reign, mercy will reign, and our work will flourish. And so what this looks like on a day-to-day -day level is brothers and sisters who look at their gifts and talents and say, I need to be a good steward of these gifts and talents and to put them on display through faithful work, to see our work as vocation, to do it well and as, a, as worship to the Lord. And whether we've been given one talent, two talents, or three talents, we're called to invest those and to be faithful participants in this kingdom renewal. It looks like excellence. It looks like treating the small things just as important as the big things in our work. Whether or not we're called to the boardroom, to the factory floor, to the home, to the courtroom, or to, the, to a school as, as our place of work. We wanna do all things with excellence because we wanna be pointing to this future kingdom where all work will flourish and be good. We want others around us to see the way in which we work and want to know more about what causes us, what's, what's the drive, what's behind our passion to work in such a way that isn't frustrated when we treat work as an idol, but is, is seen as flourishing as we worship the Lord in our work.